in nursing school? What a wonderful question. Well, we're going to get into it today, you guys. My name is Ashley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am getting ready to go into my third semester of nursing school, which is exciting and scary all at the same time, just like every semester is. Um, it's a lot whenever you get ready to step into the new one. However, going into the third one, it's not as scary as my first or second. I feel more prepared now. I feel like I've I've gotten my feet wet at this point, soaked, drenched, drowning. I got this, so it's not as bad. But getting ready to go in third semester, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about how you work out while in nursing school. One of the biggest things I hear all the time is about time. It's actually, I don't have time. I'm busy, I've got too much going on, I'm so stressed, I'm so overwhelmed, and that's exactly why, my friends, you gotta be working out. And it's not, like, here's the thing about exercise, is so many of us, I did this too, is we associate exercise as a negative. We have to work out because we're overweight. We have to work out because we've been bad. We have to work out because we've been eating like crap. Like, how many of you have had that thought like, oh my God, I need to work out today. I've been sitting in this chair. Oh my God, I need to work out. I've, I've been eating like crap the last two weeks or the last six months or whatever. I need to go do a workout. I need to go do a workout. That's not going to make it easy for you. That's going to make it so hard. So before we get into the actual how, the most important thing we need to talk about is your mindset. I know it's not fun stuff. It's not the actual step by step kind of thing. Um, but it's important, it's the most important thing here. Exercising while in nursing school has to become a must for you. No if, ands, or buts about it. It has to be something that you are committed to. You cannot dabble in it. I think that if you're going to go in to do this and you're going to try to um, exercise daily while in nursing school, if you have a mindset of, okay, I'll do it when I can, you're never gonna do it. If you have a mindset of I'll do it on these days because these other days I'm just too busy, I've got too much going on or whatever, or I'm not going to do this during finals or whatever the case is, then you're not going to do it at all. You'll It'll be like a hit and miss. And then what's going to happen is you're going to cause yourself even more stress, even more negative thoughts about it. If you're anything like me, you'll have thoughts like, well, why can't you stick to this? This is ridiculous. Why can't you just get up and do the workout every day? Like, oh my gosh, stop making excuses, just do it. And so it just becomes this very negative, vicious cycle and that's what we gotta break. You gotta get out of that. So it has to be an absolute must. No, no playing around with it. Like we're doing it seven days a week, rain or shine, sleet or hail, it does not matter. This is something I'm going to commit to. And you guys, you can commit to this while in the middle of nursing school. I did it, so don't tell me that you can't. I actually started um, exercising about two weeks before finals, and I stuck it out even through finals, which is the most stressful time of nursing school. I mean, it's all very, very stressful, but getting through finals is, is it's hell, if I'm being completely honest. So, so yes, you can do it, but it has to be an absolute must for you. Honestly, I think the only way that it's going to become a must is if you you have different beliefs around it. Instead of believing that you have to work out because you've been bad, let's change that. Hey, I'm gonna work out today so I can be an amazing nurse. Hey, I'm gonna do my exercise every single day so I can have more energy and more focus and my studying can be more effective. Hey, I, I really love working out because it helps reduce my stress. It helps calm me down. You gotta look at the positives. Looking at exercise as a negative is never gonna help you stick to it consistently. Period, end of story. I've tried it, it sucks. Like I said, you'll just dabble in it, it'll be hit and miss. It'll be something that you have to do um, instead of something that you want to do. So total mindset shift. No more making exercise a negative, no more making it something that you have to do because you've been bad. It has to be something you wanna do so you feel better, you look better, you have more energy, more focused, you're a better nurse, a better mom, a better wife, a better whatever. The amazing thing to me about exercise, you guys, is when you start doing it consistently, it shows up in every area of your life. Literally every area of your life. You're just an all around better person. It amazes me that not only me, but everyone else, like we've made so many excuses about it, but yet it's such a good freaking thing. So that's number one is it has to be a mindset shift. And honestly, you guys, I'm not an expert on mindset shifts. I had one and I, I sat down when I was planning out this video. I actually have notes in front of me. When I was planning out this video, I was trying to figure out what did I do? How did I instantly just decide I'm done? 
Like I'm done making excuses. I'm done messing around with this. And then I committed to it. And it's been almost, it's been over two months now that I've worked out every single day. What happened? What was the difference? How did I make that shift? And honestly, you guys, I just, I got to a place where I said enough's enough. Enough making excuses. Enough. I'm sick of dealing with this. I'm sick of constantly coming back to this area of my life and not actually conquering it. So I do want to say it was really, really hard for me to sit down and try to figure out what happened. It was just a, I, I just I hit my version of rock bottom with my health, with my weight, with feeling like crap every single day that I knew that eating healthy and exercising was something that had to be a must for me. But something I want you guys to do if you're really struggling with mindset, go look up some Tony Robbins videos. He's, there's hundreds of them on YouTube. Go find them on mindset and listen to them every single day. That I believe has been one of the biggest reasons that I had a big mindset shift is because I was listening to Tony Robbins every day talk about mindset and how to make that shift. So go look up some of his videos, but what we're gonna get into now is the actual how of working out while in nursing school. Again, don't forget, write it down in your planner that you're gonna look up videos about mindset because it's the most important thing. I don't wanna see you guys fail at this again and again and again and have to constantly come back to it just like I had to for so stinking long. It has to be a must for you. All right, the next thing that we're gonna talk about is actually planning your workouts. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a planner babe. I absolutely love the Happy Planner, which is the planner that I use, but here's the thing, I don't care what kind of planner you have, if it's digital, if it's um, Aaron Condren, if it's Happy Planner, if it's um, something from Walmart, like it doesn't matter what kind of planner you have, but get your planner out, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our week, and you're gonna have to do this every single week because nursing school, things change week by week. You know that, I know that. Here's the thing, I talked about exercise has to be a must for you. It has to be something that you're doing every single day. Something that really helps me is I look at my week and I see, okay, what days do I have class? What are my longest days? What days do I have clinicals? And do I need to work out in the morning or do I need to work out in the afternoon? Here's the thing, you guys. When we first started nursing school, first semester last year, our instructors told us, you have to be flexible. Nursing is changing all the time and you need to be flexible in it. You need to be able to go with the flow and that's how this is. So you're gonna look at your week, see what, what you've got going on and kind of decide for each day Okay, today, Monday, I have crazy long day, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it in in the morning because I know that once I get home in the evenings, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, Tuesday, not too bad. I can do it when I get home from class. Wednesday, another long day. I'm gonna do it in the morning. Do you see what I mean? How I'm going through looking at my days, seeing what all I've got going on, and kind of making a decision ahead of time if I'm gonna work out in the morning, if I'm gonna work out at night. Something else you have to think about is um, workout options. So if you're going to the gym and you're sitting here planning your workouts and you need to be planning for drive time, do you need to come home and take a shower before you go to class or clinicals? Do, are there showers at the gym? If you're working out at home, you need to know what workouts you're going to do every single day. I personally love Beachbody On Demand. I stream them like Netflix. Do my workouts. I can do them in the morning, at night. I can do them outside. I can do them in the house. Whatever. Love those. There's different DVDs you can do. You, If you're a runner, you can run. If you walk, walk. Whatever. You want to do yoga, do your thing. You want to go to group fitness, that's fine. But what you have to do is you have to plan for those things. The reason why I don't personally like going to the gym is because of the drive time. I have to drive. It's about 20 minutes away. So I have to drive to the gym, go to the gym come back home, get a shower, then go back to class, and I feel like I'm just living in my car. Also, I have a child. There, The times that would be feasible for me to actually go to the gym, there's not child care there. There's not any activities going on that he could participate in while I'm doing my workout, so it just doesn't work for me. However, it may be something that works for you. There's a could be a gym on campus. Could you go in between classes? Could you go to the gym on campus after class is over? Figure out what it is that you're going to do beforehand and then plan it out. Figure out where it, where it's gonna fit into your schedule. Here's the thing, I talked about this earlier. Let's say you have an extremely long day. Don't make the excuse, well my day is super long, there's no way I'm gonna get it in. Get it in, figure it out, work it out. If you have to get up a little bit earlier and do it, fine. If you have to stay up a little bit later and do it, fine. Do what you gotta do, you're gonna be up anyways. Here's the thing, when you work out, 
it helps you focus whenever you're studying. So if you're staying up late in the, at night, like I am with studying, because I start studying usually once my son goes to sleep, it's the best time. I'm like a night owl, so I start getting alert. I can do my workout in the evening, and then he goes to sleep. I have energy to stay up and study. But coming into a new semester, third semester, which I talked about, I have early days. Last semester, I had, my classes didn't start till 11, so I could do them in the morning. And um, clinicals, I had an afternoon clinical, so it didn't start, what time did clinical start? Was it 1, 12.30? Oh, 12.30 or 1 o'clock, I don't even remember. So I had time in the morning to get it done and get up. Now, going into a new semester, I have early, early days. Um, I have to be at clinicals by 7 a.m. I'm not getting up and doing a workout before I go into clinicals. I will do it whenever I get home because it's a must for me. So you have to be flexible. And here's the thing, you guys, if you plan to do it in the morning and for whatever reason, maybe you overslept or uh, maybe if you're like me and you have a child and, um, you know, things were crazy, hectic with the kiddos in the morning, whatever, and you don't get it done, you still need to do it. You just got to figure out when, what time, maybe it's later in the evening, maybe it's midday, whatever, it doesn't matter. It has to become an absolute must for you, something you do every single day. Here's the thing, you guys, you can have the most elaborate plan that anyone's ever seen. You can plan down to the stinking minute, but if you're not taking action, that plan's crap. It doesn't matter. Action trumps your plans every single time. That action may be good, it may be bad. If you had planned to do a workout, but you didn't do it, what was the point of planning? What's the point of spending all this time making a plan if you're not gonna actually take action on that plan? So that's a big, big part of it. So that's my tips for you guys. That's what I have. Let go of the excuses, get over them. If this is something that you truly wanna do, you'll make it happen. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It'll be something that you commit yourself to and you will do it every single day. However, if it's not something that's that important to you and you're not, not you don't really care about it, then you're not gonna do it. So uh, mindset is the biggest, biggest component of this. You gotta work on your mindset. It's not the funnest thing in the world. I actually enjoy it. I think it's cool to destroy my limiting beliefs. Um, it's kind of interesting to me sometimes the things that we believe, I'm like, what? When I, when I, Put, shine some light on it. It doesn't even make sense. How, why did I even believe that? So I think it's kind of interesting and fun to do, but that's what you got to do. Work on your mindset, plan it out, figure out what workouts you're going to do. I gave you some workout options. You got the gym, there's streaming options. There's workout videos. You got the gym at your um, campus. You can work out at home. You can walk, you can run. It doesn't matter what you do. It's just that you do it every single day. So as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. And if you haven't already, go do all the things us YouTubers harass you to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and go follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video.